Happy Sunday, guys. We're kicking off week seven with breakfast. Uh, my obsession with the Kodiak cakes mix has continued. And this morning I am trying um, Cellucor Corfetti cake batter pancakes for breakfast. Um, the recipe for this one, the batter came out a little bit more watery than just the regular Kodiak cakes, but this first pancake looks really good and they actually they actually smell like birthday cake, so I'm pretty excited. Um, also made an espresso this morning instead of standard coffee, which I had yesterday. And I didn't end up using the Walden Farm sweet cream in it because it actually came out way better than I thought. Mm. Yeah, espresso used to terrify me, but we're just going to have the one shot today and see how that goes. Because as I said, I haven't really been drinking coffee lately. So, um, so this is going to be breakfast. I'm also going to add 90 grams of egg whites to my plate, so um, you can see how I do my macros on an Excel spreadsheet psycho. So my macros for the day, um, well not focus, but my breakfast macros are going to be 3 fat, 29 carb, and 54 protein, and that's between the pancakes and the egg whites. So I'm going to flip my second pancake and eat my breakfast. So here's the completed product. I was actually pretty impressed. They came out a little bit fluffier than I thought they were going to. I thought they were going to be kind of like rubbery and flat. So there's that with my espresso. I've got my digestive enzymes. I'm going to take one of those. And then I've got my shaker cup. This guy is uh, 25 ounces. And I try to go through about five of those a day to get me about a gallon of water. I'm going back to the windows and be really dark. But yeah, so we're going to give these a try and see if they were a disaster. Mmm. They're really good. I just put regular maple pancake syrup on them, the Walden Farms, of course. Really good. I mean, it definitely doesn't taste like Betty Crocker um, fun Fetty cake mix or something, but it doesn't have that, like, sort of waxy taste you get in your mouth from protein. It's really good. It definitely, like, if somebody served this to me, I would probably guess that it was just, like, like a whole wheat pancake with some cake batter in it, I wouldn't say, oh, that's protein. Hmm. All right, for the win. Awesome. Back to the rest of the week. Whew. So let's talk leg day pain, shall we? Ah. Mm. Really, really tough workout today. Really good workout, though I have to say. Really had to push, uh, dig deep. Um, a really terrible balance so when I'm doing stuff like step ups with like really heavy weights bracing my core is almost as hard as continuing to do the reps with the weight so really really good workout I'm just thankful it wasn't plyos holy crap so Monday's workout is done I've got my protein um, this week this week let's see Thursday night actually a good friend of mine from school is flying in from DC to spend the weekend with me I'm still going to be training on Thursday evening and Friday morning, but my friend's going to be here, so that'll be pretty fun. So weeknights this week after my training, um, just going to be a lot of like the household cleaning type stuff and grocery running that you have to do before you have house guests. So that is where I'm at. Um, nothing else too exciting to report tonight. I'm going to go home, finish my protein, get some carbs in me, uh, and have a meal in a couple of hours. And that is an awesome, awesome start to week seven, feeling super strong. So stay tuned. Hey, everyone. It is Tuesday evening, Tuesday, July 14th. No, yes, Tuesday, July 14th. I'm just about to get some dinner ready, so I thought I'd show you what I was doing. Um, I have my Miracle Shirataki noodles. You guys have heard me talk about these before. Um, Plant-based. Um, I believe they're Japanese noodle. Really, there's no, no fat, no protein, very few carbs, even in that entire bag. So I'll probably strain that out and fry them up and have about half of that bag. Um, Pre-chopped veggies, these are technically a fajita mix, but really just any kind of stir fry is going to be fine with them. It's really all about the seasoning, so pre-chopped onions and peppers. And then some chicken that I pre-grilled earlier in the week. This is just what's left, so we'll be chopping that up to throw on that. And I have some jasmine rice, which is our favorite right now. That's cooking up for Ricky because he gets to have more carbs than I do. Um, so I'm going to do that and I can just show you the finished product. I'll be throwing the veggies in the pan first, just kind of with the Pam butter flavored spray to saute those up and get those nice and soft. Probably just throw the chicken in with it for a little bit to heat up. And then I'm going to be putting, do, 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 where is it? Some of this on there. 
Um, this is a Kikoman, Kikoman, Kikoman stir fry sauce. Um, it definitely is probably a little high in sodium, but um, macros are, it's no fat, less than a gram of protein and four carbs in one tablespoon of it. So 520 milligrams of sodium, but I don't really put salt in any of my other food. So it um, doesn't really bother me that much to have a serving of that and season up the veggies and the chicken. So that'll all go into the fry pan together. And then after I strain and dry out, boil the shirataki noodles, I'll add all that together. Um, show you what that looks like pretty basic so I'm not going to do like a step-by-step -step process of how to do this. I think you all know how to throw veggies in a pan and stir fry them a little bit. So that is going to be dinner tonight. Um, had a chest day today. We are kind of dropping my reps and upping my weight a little bit this week so that's pretty exciting. It's definitely going to make me stronger, help my muscles keep growing. Um, so hello Tango. He always wants to be in my videos. Hello boo. You don't want to be on the camera now? You just wanted the food, huh? He wants the chicken. Oh. So that's how workouts are going this week. Um, it's really dark. I'm turn again. I'm just gonna get you guys all dizzy spinning around my kitchen. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm really excited. I have a hair appointment. So finally gonna do something with this mop. Um, it's pretty much my natural color right now. I'm definitely a naturally like a medium blonde, but eh, kind of want to change. Do something a little bit fun with it. So that is coming tomorrow. And tomorrow will be back day. So. Okay, so veggies are very nearly done. Um, onions are fragrant and the peppers are getting nice and soft. Um, that would be where I dropped the canister of garlic and it went everywhere. Um, Ricky's rice is finished and then I've got the chicken chopped and heated up just waiting over here for the veggies. And I'm going to throw my strained shirataki noodles into the pan once I clear the veggies out. And then I'm gonna season everything with that stir fry sauce and I'll uh, show you guys the finished product. Pretty easy. So there you have it. That is the finished product. Pretty full plate of food as you can see. Um, we've got the soy sauce or the stir fry sauce drizzled across there. Um, so the veggies, I checked the label on the back of that package here. Um, there were three servings in that whole tray and one serving was eight carbs, one protein, no fat. Um, so I'm not sure what the total macros are, but um, like I said, very few carbs in the noodles and no carbs in the chicken. So um, really just the veggies and the stir fry sauce are the only source of carbs. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll put the macros up on the screen right now um, so you guys can see what the what we're looking at to have this dinner. So that will be Tuesday. And we will be back on Wednesday. Okay, so I did it. New hair. New hair. Yes. Uh, it's like a dark brownish red. This is, this is all natural lighting, so probably you can get a pretty good idea of what the color is. I'm pretty stoked about it feeling pretty good. It's just nice to mix things up a little bit. I've already been asked once if this is my natural color. Um, no. Surprisingly enough, the blonde is my natural color. I've been blonde my whole life, getting progressively darker, of course, but um, always been blonde. So mixing it up. I've never gone quite this dark before. I went a little bit darker than my natural once before several months ago. It just wasn't quite as dramatic of a change as I wanted. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Because my hair is naturally blonde, it won't hang on to the red dye as much as I'd like. Um, and it's going to fade to more of like a chocolatey brown, but that's okay because that it looked good on me the last time I did that. So anyway, that's enough of the girly girly stuff. Apologies. Um, this is, this is a Fitstagram. Fit, 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 fit blur. Wow. That's really hard to say. I've never said that out loud before. A fit blur post. So on to back day. That's what's happening right now. And then tonight I need to go and pick up some tasty treats. There are going to be a couple of cheat meals this weekend and by cheat meals I mean cheat drinks probably um, well my girlfriend is in town I'm gonna have some wine and it's gonna be my birthday actually on Sunday I don't know if I've mentioned that yet it's gonna be my birthday this weekend so a couple of naughty naughty treats um, so yeah I'm gonna hit today hard the rest of the week hard with my workout and make sure my macros continue to stay tight still doing really good on that I woke up like ravenously hungry this morning um, and my legs are super sore. It's two days after leg day today. So I've been walking kind of like a duck all day um, where like it hurts to bend my knees. So um, super sore. I was really hungry this morning. So I made some pro protein pancakes um, and that helped. It was just more filling than my typical cereal and egg whites. So um, tonight probably just having leftovers, more of the same from last night. And then we'll be getting on to filming the second half of the week as much as I can while I've got people here. So um, I'll be in touch hang out and stick around for next time.